There's something about the children's films of yesteryear that were unapologetically dark at times. While the current generation of kids have cute little minions and talking penguins to enjoy, we had stories about goblins who abduct children and David Bowie's giant padded crotch. Establishing ground rules is important, so let us state for the record that this countdown doesn't include horror films. Rather, these are movies legitimately intended for kids. So let's start revisiting painful childhood memories, shall we? The first entry on our list single-handedly fueled the entire generation's nightmares, and to this day, the very whisper of Watership Down is enough to send shivers down the spine of many a grown adult. If we had to pick one scene that was responsible for the most amount of lost sleep, it would have to be this one. Field. It's covered with blood. Blood? Don't be silly. Even in 1939, they were figuring out ways to scare children senseless. And just in case the Wicked Witch of the West wasn't freaky enough, they had to introduce flying demon monkeys into the mix. The scene where Dorothy and the gang are kidnapped by these psycho simians is enough to get a five-year-old into the fetal position. It's fair to say there's some pretty dark stuff going on in Pinocchio, but the moment a bunch of kids start painfully transforming into donkeys, it's as if Disney are taking glee and freaking us the hell out. Hmm, kind of reminds me of something else. It says a lot about the terrifying nature of the witches, that even a scene where Angelica Houston peels her own freaking face off, isn't the creepiest thing in the film. That honour belongs to this moment from earlier, when a young Luke is enjoying a good old tree climb, when a particularly creepy witch tries to lure him down using all manner of messed up tricks. Little boys love snakes. Here, he's yours. Grandma! Grandma! Look, 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 I'll leave him here if you like, then you can come down on your own and get him. What the hell's Gran doing? Help the guy! How could we not include this on the list? Disney have a long history of parent deaths, but none were as shocking nor emotionally raw as the moment we heard a single gunshot and came to the shocking realization that Mrs. Bambi was no more. We should probably have expected a movie called The Dark Crystal wouldn't be all sunshine and rainbows, but nothing could have prepared us for the scene in which one of the film's cute podling creatures is strapped to a chair and given a life-draining lobotomy. you of your fears, your thoughts, your vital essence. Everyone knows kids were tougher in the 80s, and could handle a few harsh truths now and then. But the never-ending story took this to brutal extremes, not only in killing a harmless animal, but to do it in a slow, painful, agonizing way. No horses were harmed in the making of this film, but plenty of hearts were. Christopher Lloyd's Judge Doom is one of the most frightening villains you're ever likely to see in a kid's film, and his final scene of Who Framed Roger Rabbit is just about as disturbing as it gets for a PG-rated film. Remember me, Eddie? When I kill your brother, I talk just like Legendary kids author Roald Dahl was known to dabble in dark themes, and the film adaptation of his beloved book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory certainly didn't shy away from this. But none of that compares with Wonka's psychedelic boat trip. The danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! Yeah, this is totally suitable for a kid's film. This film teeters on the edge of what is generally considered passable kids viewing, with more than enough messed up imagery within its running time to justify a hard PG or even an M classification. 
which makes it even more of a shock to find out this bad boy is actually rated G. I mean sure, the Wizard of Oz had the monkeys, but does that really compare with the sight of grown men in eyeliner with wheels for hands chasing down a child in dark corridors? I don't think so. That's it for this week's Top 10. To let us know what scenes scared you as a kid, hit us up in the comments below. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to So Is It Any Good.